In this video, we're going to solve separable first order differential equations and the technique in solving this kind of differential equation is to separate and integrate. So we have an example. Find the general solution of y prime is equal to y plus 1 squared over x plus 1 squared. We can rewrite this equation as dy over dx is equal to y plus 1 squared all over x plus 1 squared. The idea is to separate x and all y's. And we're gonna put the all x in this side and all y's in this side or vice versa. So we have dy over y plus 1 squared is equal to dx over x plus 1 squared. So as you can see, all y's and x were separated. So the next thing to do is to integrate both sides. So, for to avoid confusion, we're gonna set this as integral 1 or integral 2. For integral 1, which is integral of dy y plus 1 squared. So we let u y plus 1 and du is equal to dy. So we have du over u squared. We can rewrite this as integral of u to the negative 2 du. So, evaluating this integral, we have u to the negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. Or we can re rewrite as negative 1 over u plus c. So, this is for integral 1. Oh. We're gonna return back to the original form of u in terms of y. So we have negative 1, y plus 1, plus c. So this will be our final answer for integral 1. You can neglect the C in this side and put the C in the other side. So, for integral 2, we have dx over x plus 1 squared. Same with the integral 1, letting x plus 1 is equal to u then by taking the derivative dx is equal to du then we have 
du over u squared. So we solve it. We, we solve it previously. So we have negative one over u plus c. But our u is x plus one. So we can this one is x plus 1 plus c so this is for integral 2 Then returning back to the main solution, negative 1 is equal to x plus 1 plus c. So by doing some algebraic solution, we're gonna rewrite this equation in terms of x. So this will be cancelled so we have y plus 1 is equal to y x plus 1 plus c and then the next thing to do is we're gonna write the final answer in, in terms of in terms of y in terms of x so we have y plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 over 1 plus c over c times x plus 1 Then our final answer is x plus 1 all over 1 plus c x plus 1 minus 1. So this will be our final answer, which is the general solution.